I'm in a Hyundai i30N Performance. Next to me is a BMW E36 328i. Now, we're gonna have a drag race. You might be wondering why the heck we're doing this. Well, it's because we had both cars available and some spare time on a track. So we thought, why the heck not? Now that car, it has a straight six, 2.8 litre natural aspirated engine. It's been on the dive now because it's been tuned and it's got about 225 horsepower. And you can actually watch a video of that and my Porsche 911 being checked out on the dyno as well. Anyway, this car, it's got a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 275 horsepower. Both cars are manual. This is front wheel drive. That is rear wheel drive, which might help it off the line. And we're gonna find out if it will do. Now, before we do, make sure you check us out on Instagram at carwowcars get some behind the scenes clips and footage and stuff like that it's well worth checking out and signing up too anyway let's do this what? oh we've got a better start than me come on high and die Love this car, but that BMW's doing a good job. Oh, the gear change is tight. Come on, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Come on. Oh. Ho, ho. That was so close. But just how close was it? I checked the different camera angles, but it seems both cars crossed the line at the exact same time, completing the standing quarter mile in 14.7 seconds. Now we're gonna have a rolling race in second gear from 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna count us in and we'll floor the throttle, see what happens. So, three, two, one, go. I want not much turbo lag and I'm off. This is all about the gear changes. It's so close. Look, I'm pulling past the nine third. I've got more torque. I've got 380 newton meters. That's got about 300. And we weigh about the same, around 1400 kilos. So this didn't lag that much in second gear because I was around three and a half thousand RPM. So when I floored it, it wasn't quite as crisp as that one in terms of the throttle response because that's naturally aspirated. This had to wait for the turbos to spool up, but when it did, it was game over, really. That's still fast, though. I might have to get myself one of those. It's our cameraman, Jax, he loves it. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the white line, we're gonna do a full emergency stop, see which car stops in the shortest distance. They both weigh about the same, so it's gonna be all down to the brakes and, of course, the tires. Here we go, white line. <laughs> well, there you have it, people. There you have it. The older car didn't break as good as the newer car. To be fair to that car, it's on rather poor tyres, but yeah, modern brakes, they are definitely better. And I think it's a clean sweep for the Hyundai i30N. But the more victory goes to the BMW because it costs bugger all. Either way, both great cars. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment on it, and share it. Also, click on our logo to subscribe to this channel. And if you click on the bottom right-hand corner, you can actually watch more of our content. Meanwhile, click over to the right to go to our deals page to see how much money you can save on a new car at CarWow.